section of professional wrestling. And the circle of disrespect. Escorted to ringside this evening by his manager and business advisor, Theodore Tutwiler III. He hails from Little Italy. Weighing in this evening at 241 pounds. He is known as the Supreme Fachim, the King of Florida, Francisco Giazzo. Woo! Look at him. The King. Properly pronounced the King. He hails from the righteous side of hell, weighing it at 253 pounds, the Grand Design, Clyde Braddock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this match laid at one ball, 30, Francisco Chiazzo taking on Clyde Braddock, your referee for this encounter, Jeff J. Mac McGowan. You know, these, these people giving a few. Yeah, exactly. I think this almost qualifies as a battle of the nicknames all over <laughs> I know, again. I know. Yep, you got Todd Weiler on the outside. Here we go. You ready for this? Bell sounds, and we are underway. Pell City, Alabama. Thank you for checking us out on GCWPro.com as well as our YouTube site, YouTube.com slash GCW Pro Wrestling. Fast Eddie Lane and the heavyweight champion, Mad Dog Dan Sawyer from the powers that be calling the action at ringside tonight. And one half the world tag team champion, but thank you. The King of Florida not getting respect tonight that he deserves. Grad design, Clyde Braddock, you know, you used to see these guys in tag matches with uh, Simon Says, Simon says Steve the Emerald, Styles. Emerald, Emerald Emperor. Emperor. Emperor, yeah, I, I just couldn't get it out fast enough. Look, nice dump there by the Braddock. Nice roll through. Shoulders are up, look at that, you know. Hey, Frankie, Mr. Chiazzo, is, he's a ring veteran. And if he says a man pulls his tights, you better check. As stated, you've got the battle of the nicknames in place, not only from the, um, from the team names, the grand design, the final solution, Clyde Braddock of the Sevenfold Saints, the Supreme Pachim, the King of Florida, Hashtag bar tabs and barbells. I think that may be the other way around, but I'm. Uh, either way, the guy's got some hashtags, and <laughs> he, he, he's he's in complete control of this match. Swing and miss. Oh, that one denied. Braddock's got those powerful hands. Oh, there we go. No, he's throwing it. Oh man, Braddock is on fire. He's still upset about what we did to Steve Styles back at the uh, Global Warfare. Now he's just showing off. Oh, he's just showing off. Didn't get all of that one close, but not quite. That's However, it. ooh, sending him in the hard way, you know? Oh, now, we're going to see where the ring savvy comes in right here. Is Braddock is all fiery and hot and upset. Braddock slowly but surely closing in, taking his time. Wicked Nemesis right behind Chiazzo. Braddock turns around, faces Elf Terdwak. Hard oh. close line by Chiazzo. Yep, see, but it goes into the old play right there. You know, Teddy Tuttweiler. You know, manager of champions, New York's finest. It is, uh, he knows, it's, it's ring awareness. And Teddy Always. being a former heavyweight champion back in the day, he knows and how to do team champion. He, he's multiple, multiple champions. He knows what time it is in the ring. And he knows where to be when it's time to be there. Break of the guys by Chiazzo on Braddock right now. Braddock trying to get his vision back 2020. 
Wicked Nemesis right there at ringside, keeping an eye on the situation, helping to encourage his man to get back up to his feet. Kiazzo closing right back in, draping the neck across the ropes. McGowan right there for the break. I see, you know, Braddock's in there. He was just, he was trying to rest on the ropes. <laughs> he, he's hot. Look oh. at him, he's sweating. Oh. He caught a little bit of a breather now. He's fired back up. Oh, man. A clothesline, bicep to the ear. Back in the man, Irish whip. Nice reversal by Mr. Chiazzo. Sunset flip by Braddock. Wow. The big man's going. Hey, did you see Frankie's going to those ropes? He's going to yep. have to break this right here, right now. Oh, look, Field he goal. kicked it. What is this? One, One two, two, no. Oh, man. Did you see that? Is he on the take, too? No, he's not on the take. You know better than that. Second generation referee. Third. Oh, excuse me. That's right. I thought Grandpa, son of Scrappy. Yes. Not to be confused with Scrappy Doo. Worst part of that Scooby Doo deal when I was a kid. Here he is, Braddock taking a rest again. And see, he could be taking advantage of He this. is not taking a rest yes. right now. His brain's being draped across the ropes. What match are you watching? Teddy is trying to help him up right here. He's trying to help the guy up. And sometimes, you know, Joe Cocker said it best get by with a little help from my friends, you know? I don't know if he was talking about wrestling, but... Uh, and, and therein lies the rub, because once again, as we've seen, just like with the powers that be in Cosper, just like with um, the Circle of Disrespect, the Foundation, and Tutwiler, the outside interference is always a threat and is always there. It's wrestling, Eddie, and, you know... Drops the knee straight across knee the right upper chest. Yeah, right in the sternum. He's gonna knock the rest of that air out. Right here. Comes in, hooks the leg, count one, one two, two, no. Almost, close. So Frankie's just, uh, you know, putting him through the paces right now and trying to uh, punish him. He's teaching him uh, that... Uh, Piazzo closing in, also jawing back and forth with a couple of members of the crowd in attendance tonight. Don't forget our next live appearance is going to be on Saturday night, August the 29th in Pell City, Alabama at the Pell City Civic Center. Mark your calendars, make your plans to join us, and keep your eyes open on GCWPro.com for all upcoming show information. Snapmare takeover by Chiazzo on Braddock comes in with a rear chin lock. Yeah, yeah, he's got that nice rear chin lock right there. It's not a choke. It's a clear-cut pressure on the carotid artery. And, uh, you know, the king of Florida... He's, he can shift that around about three to five degrees and turn it into a sleeper hold. Uh, Mr. Tutwell is trying to tell McGowan. Oh, man. Oh, oh he's, look at that. Uh, McGowan trying to, is he trying to kiss Teddy? Oh, oh man, Keanu oh, got out of the way just in time. That, that looked like Mason Freeman. Look, there we go. This could be all she wrote for uh, Mr. Clyde Braddock. Drag, be it. You know, drags I'm, him back to the middle of the ring. Kiazzo. We have a stare down outside. What's going to happen between Wick and Teddy? Well, this is unnecessary. And the chase somebody, is on. Somebody is this, this is really unnecessary. And this you've got Wicked Nemesis and Theodore Tutwiler headed out the building, and they're there slugging it out. Oh, geez. Ooh, just he caught still him got, the, it, got a little bit right there behind the ear. McGowan is still down. The referee, it, I, I told you, you got to watch those McGowans. They take naps on the job. Look at him, he's sleeping. He was squashed. I, I, think, I think Bullet Bob, the commissioner. Oh, nice clothesline by Braddock. Big elbow. Somebody needs to, they should dock McGowan's pay for sleeping on the job. And down go the straps, and here comes Braddock. You got it off the back elbows, and the clothesline sets him up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh yeah. Low knee. Spear. Oh, he brings it. He's got the cover. Two, three, four. It doesn't five. count. We're not an official in the ring. Yeah, thanks to you. I'm not, you know, I don't wear stripes. No, thanks to you and Global <laughs> Warfare. Braddock checking on McGowan, trying to shake him awake. Oh, and he's here. just trying to uh, get the sweat off his hands. And here come the knuckles. Oh, best actor. What and the it? Emmy goes to. Oh, right. there we go. <laughs> and like a redwood, go. down come goes on, Braddock. Ref. Come on, ref, do your job. Wake up. One, One two, two, three. three. And your winner is. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the pull of the match, the 
King of Florida, Francisco Chiasso. A little bit of chicanery involved in that situation. However, when the ref's not able to see it, what's the old phrase that Mr. Heenan used to say? It doesn't count. Yeah. It ain't cheating if you don't get caught. That's right.